Hi, I'm Sophia. Today I'm here with Kristen, who teaches at Florida State University and is a criminal justice doctoral student. Thank you for coming on today for the JSA Great American Teaching. Ready for the questions? Yeah. Okay. Why are you pursuing a degree in criminal justice? Um, so I got my bachelor's degree in criminology, in criminal justice and social work because I thought I wanted to go on and become an attorney, you know, and work in the criminal justice setting as an attorney. But when I was working on my bachelor's degree, I realized that there was such a need for research in the area because there's so much that we don't know about, you know, what happens to people when they're incarcerated, about why some people are, you know, given certain opportunities in the justice system and other people aren't, um, consequences of being a victim of crimes. You know, there's just so much that we don't know. So I felt like research was more important for me. Um, and so by getting a PhD or a doctorate degree, um, I would learn how to do, you know, I would learn the skills necessary to do research over you know, practice law, you know. Mm -hmm. What do you teach at FSU? Um, so I've taught two different classes. The first one was called victimology, which is, you know, it's just like what it sounds, right? Ology means the study of and then victim. So it's the study of victimization and what cause what makes some people more or less likely to become the victim of a crime what happens to people after they're the victim of a crime you know what does it look like to go through the criminal justice process as a victim as opposed to an offender because you know everybody knows like if you're a criminal you get arrested you go to trial but it's harder for people to think about it from a victim's perspective um and the other class that I taught was called police problems and practices. So I taught about, you know, different policing practices. I taught about the history of policing in the country from, you know, the start of the country to how it is now. And um, yeah, those are the two classes that I've taught. How do you coordinate going to school and teaching at the same time? So it's actually part of my curriculum, you know, it's, it's required as a doctoral student, they expect that when we come out of this program that we're able to teach. So um, they, my professor, you know, because we're given a major professor, like somebody who's our mentor, they, she, her name is Dr. Jillian Turanovic. She's really helped me a lot um, to figure out how to balance, you know, my own classes that I have to take as a student in the class that I have to classes that I have to teach, um, in addition to the research that I have to do independently. So she's taught me a bunch of different time management skills, but it's a lot of the same things that I was doing even in high school and middle school. You know, I have a calendar, I have an, an agenda, you know, with due dates and reminders. Um, it's all about just staying organized. Can you give some advice to students who might be struggling to find direction? Do you mean direction in what way? I think like what they're going to do after getting out of school. I think that it's okay to not know what you're going to do, you know, because I, I, I thought I knew what I was going to do. You know, I think when I was Mr. Dill's student, um, I would, I would have told you, I'm going to be a doctor, like, I'm going to be a medical doctor, you know, and nobody could have told me otherwise. And then I came, went to college my first year, and I took a criminal justice class, and I was like, actually, this is way more interesting. And then for a couple of years, I was like, I'm going to be a lawyer, and nobody can tell me different. And then I took a research methods class, and I was like, actually, I'm going to be a researcher. You know, and I think that that's okay. I think that that is how it's supposed to be. I don't think that you have to know what you want to do. I think you just have to know that you're going to be willing to work hard for whatever it is that you want to do. 
you know so just working hard towards a good future um and being open to opportunities because had I not like had I come to FSU and never taken that criminal justice class as an elective my complete trajectory would have been different maybe I would be in medical school now um but I was open to different opportunities so I think if, if somebody doesn't know what they want to do that's okay and I think my advice would just be be open to all of the different paths that are there and explore different opportunities as they present themselves. Lastly, do you have a good memory from your school days that you would like to share? A good memory? I have a lot. Um, hmm. Let me think of one. Um, I used to do history fair. Um, would I, is that a thing at your school? Yeah. So I did history fair and I did it almost every year, like from middle school to high school. And one year I did it and I was studying, I was looking into music censorship. Um, and Mr. Dill put me in contact with a musician who I did an interview with actually. Um, and we did that interview and we did a performance, me and my team members, and we would stay after school to practice in Mr. Dill's classroom. Um, and we had like this rotating set, like that it like rotated. I don't know how to explain it. It was like four different sets, but we would rotate. So it was like four different scenes for the judges. Um, and we got first place in county and we went to state and we got third place in state, um, which is like so close to going to nationals, you know, but I think that that was fun. That was a lot of fun. History fair and all of the years were fun, but that year was especially fun because of how far we went. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. Mm -hmm. No um, problem. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Bye. Bye.